Hey everyone, Sean here from RunningShoesGuru.com and today we're going to talk about the Hoka 1-1 Bondi 5. Just going to uh, start off with some things I liked and didn't like about the shoe. Um, firstly, uh, what I liked about it, the soft cushioning, uh, stability and smooth ride. Uh, some things I didn't like. I had found some signs of wear and tear initially after about 50 miles um, and they seem to have improved and we can get get into that a little bit later and I also found initially that the tongue of the shoe uh, when I first got it was pretty thick here and uh, I like to use the heel lock lacing technique sometimes uh, kind of where you go through this loop and, and lock your heel in and that caused some uh, some pressure on the front of my ankle but uh, that's also improved so like I said, we'll get to that later. Okay, The upper of the shoe fits similar to the Clifton 3, which is a good thing. Uh, the Clifton 3 has a really nice upper. It's got an all new uh, engineered mesh, which um, the Clifton 3 did not have. So this is new, uh, this mesh you can see here. Uh, it's nice and breathable, soft. Overall, the upper uh, didn't cause any irritation or anything. I mean, it, it's comfortable enough. It's not really a sock-like fit like some other shoes, but it's uh, comfortable enough to be to run long in. So, And actually at this point I have almost 200 miles on this shoe and the issue that I saw was just this crease right here. Um, the type of mesh kind of pulls a little bit, but it's, it's, help, it's holding up really well. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that, the durability of the upper. So the midsole has a lot of cushioning. Um, as you would expect, it's a maximum cushion shoe. Uh, it's almost like a like a Clifton, um, but twice twice as thick. Um, one thing to mention: when you see the outside of these shoes, you have this really thick layer of cushioning, which kind of makes it look like you're standing on a platform. But really, your foot does go down into that cushioning to about right here. So it is a high stack height, but it's not uh, as drastic as it might look. And I mentioned stability earlier, so I think what makes this shoe very stable is just the um, how wide it is. It's got a really, really wide base here, so uh, that helps with the stability. So you're sitting up a little higher, but uh, I, th I st still think it main maintains its stability. The shoe also has a rocker design, so it kind of curls up in the front and the back, so when your shoe hits the pavement, it can roll off a little bit. Uh, smoother and I think that does add a lot to the the smooth ride you don't get responsiveness as you would in a, a traditional shoe but um, for something like a maximum cushion shoe like this the, the smooth ride it's really nice to have that rocker rocker design one thing I wanted to mention is uh, in the review on the website I did notice some comments uh, about the cushioning being a little less soft uh, this year compared to last year uh, I can't really comment on that too much because I haven't run in the previous version of the Bondi. Um, but I will say that uh, I didn't find this cushioning to be firm at all. I, I thought it was uh, appropriate and and nice to run in. So um, I also noticed some comments about the shoe being um, not as durable, the midsole material, last year and that they may have sort of thickened it this year to uh, add some durability. So in conclusion, this, uh, this is a great shoe for long runs, slower pace runs, and people who need uh, something that will help them recover a little better. You know, a lot of people use these shoes to um, just have something that's easier on their body and, and they can still run long in. <clears throat> you do sacrifice some ground feel, but it's in exchange for a smooth and soft ride that lasts for a long time. Okay everyone, that's it for the Hoka 1-1 Bondi 5. And again, uh, I have about 200 miles on this shoe right now. It's holding up really well. It's a great shoe for uh, high mileage daily training and uh, long runs especially. Um, if you have any comments, questions, please feel free to leave those uh, below. We'll get to those as soon as we can. Uh, we want to make these reviews as helpful as possible, so any suggestions would be great. Um, also, if you're looking for more reviews of uh, different maximum cushioning shoes, uh, 
really any type of shoe, check out www.runningshoesguru.com. Uh, we have lots of reviews on there, and they're all from uh, independent reviewers and runners like you and I. Thank you. Mm -hmm.